Now we're sharing 10 adjectives to describe personality or behavior that could be quite useful to give more detail about what a person is really like or the way they behave. And it might be helpful in studying IELTS as well. Adventurous. 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 Now, this is probably not a new word to most people, but I just wanted to remind you that adventurous can be used for in different contexts. Someone might be a shy person generally, but maybe they're adventurous in their food choices. They like to try spicy things or new or unusual things. Other people, you might call them adventurous in their fashion. They're willing to try some crazy clothes that most people wouldn't wear, or crazy and adventurous with their hairstyles or hair colors. So you don't have to be an adventurous person to still be adventurous in some other way of your life. All right, arrogant. Arrogant. Arrogant is an adjective. It's never really a good thing. If someone's arrogant, they really think highly of themselves, perhaps too highly. They might think they're more knowledgeable than they are, more talented than they actually are, um, more experienced than they actually are. So if you say, oh, that guy, he's so arrogant. He thought everyone was waiting to talk to him. They were actually waiting to talk to the teacher. Bossy. Bossy. So someone who's bossy just loves telling people what to do, often in a way that annoys the people around them. So they say, oh, he or she is so bossy, they won't listen to anyone else's ideas. Or often we'll hear people say, look, he's a good leader, but sometimes he's just a little bit too bossy. Diplomatic. 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 This is a great word. Um, if you are studying for the IELTS test, uh, diplomatic is a very lovely word to drop in. If someone is diplomatic, uh, they're really good at not taking sides. Um, they are good at helping people resolve problems peacefully. And they're a good friend to have, especially if you're having an argument with someone. So you might say, John is amazing. He's so diplomatic. He helped our whole team fix this problem without taking sides. Humble. Humble. Humble is another alternative to modest, and humble is an opposite of arrogant. So for humble, you might really underplay how talented you are or how, how hardworking you are. So for example, you might say, even though Tom was the number one tennis player in the world, he said his, his outcomes are really based on him practicing very hard. Hypocritical. Hypocritical. So if someone is hypocritical, they might act or say they do things, but then they don't actually do them. They might complain that people don't do enough to help the environment, and then you find out they use plastic straws, plastic cups, and don't recycle at all. Um, you could say, John is so hypocritical. He keeps telling me I need to clean my room, but I went to his house and it's a total mess. What a hypocrite. Reserved. Reserved.
reserved. Uh, if there's someone that doesn't like to talk too much, doesn't reveal too much about themselves, it's more than just shy. They actually keep a lot of information inside. They won't tell anyone. So you might say, oh, I don't really know Tom that well. He's very reserved. We can never get that much information out of him. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. Just another alternative to considerate or sweet. Uh, for example, he brought me a cup of coffee because he knew I was running late and wouldn't have time to stop at the coffee shop. He is so thoughtful. Upbeat. Upbeat. Someone who is very cheerful and happy. So if you're an upbeat person, people usually love being around you and they might even comment on that. Kelly is such an upbeat person. It's impossible to feel sad when she's around. These people are often very optimistic as well, but they're the person you want to have around you, especially when you're feeling down. So your challenge is to think of new ways to describe your friends and people around you, either using these words or some other ones you know. Try not to use the same words over and over again. Give yourself the chance to express details about your friends that words like good and great just don't really cover. <laughs>